Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Grace. We're getting the morning started. <sighs> Already got up. Got the kids off school. Bye. Okie is moving the camera. Alright. And uh fixed my breakfast. I had eggs with a little bit of bacon bits and just a lot amount of cheese and drop the water and now i'm going to try to get ready for the day i'm using my roc retinol correction deep wrinkle filler so we're going to get this done this morning I'm so sleepy. Somebody was kicking me in the back last night. I'm not gonna name no names. Ma'am. It's supposed to rain pretty much for the rest of the week. I don't think tomorrow is going to, but the rest of next week it, it is, so. Um, got a little bit Gotta have the rain though. Hi. Shine a spring. A little neck down here. I don't know. I probably won't fix my hair today. I'll brush through it, but probably be about it because yeah. So I did buy me some new toothpaste. Um. Hopefully this works. It's a 3D crest. Um, Advanced Express White. And I also got uh, the crest 3D White Glamorous White mouthwash. Trying to get my teeth straightened out. Um, I'm out of the that guru stuff. But we're going to get our teeth brushed because I've done have breakfast and everything. So. We're going to get this done.
As I was vacuuming, I guess Ugly decided I need more to uh, vacuum up. <laughs> I thought it was so funny. I got so tickled. I've heard every cliche there is and none of them make sense. I'm so tired of love songs. I'm sick and tired of love songs. I'm so tired of you. Looking back on how I used to be. That the love was made for me Oh well I was just as blue white as the sky could ever be Loving you has made me realize I'm so tired of love
raindrops start to dry And even when the sun begins to shine again I've taken all the advice there is and none of it has helped I'm so tired of love songs, sick and tired of the songs I'm so tired Okay, so now we're gonna be making a chocolate pie from the movie The Hell. Um, uh, obviously, we're not gonna put poo poo in it, but uh, <laughs> this pie, this chocolate pie, is one of my favorite. I don't really like chocolate pie, but this one I do because most pies are kind of like pudding, and I ain't crazy about pudding. I just, I don't know, texture, I guess. But. This pie, you're going to need uh, one pie crust and one and a half cups of sugar, three tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder, four tablespoons of unsalted butter, two large eggs beaten, and three-fourths cup of evaporated milk, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a fourth a teaspoon of salt. So I'm just gonna, you know, read you the directions. Easy pie crust into a nine inch pie plate. Crimp edges, prick crust lightly with four. Line the crust with foil or parchment paper. So I did this, and normally I don't. And uh, when I did this, my crust, actually, I ended up overcooking my crust. So, um, I mean, if you do that, fine. But personally, me, I, uh, I usually just pop it in the oven for about five minutes, then I pour my batter in my pie crust, then I cover my edges up with aluminum foil, but this go around, y'all see at the end, I kind of overcooked it, but I was on the telephone talking, and so I kind of lost track of time, so I kind of overcooked it, so there's that. But you're gonna mix all your ingredients up, and you're gonna preheat your oven to 350, and you know, when you get your pie crust kind of cooked just a little bit, you're going to pour your batter into your pie crust. And then you're going to bake for 45 minutes until it's kind of set around the edges. But it's going to be jiggly in the center. And cover the crust with foil. Now, this, like I said, this pie is going gonna to be, you're going to be like, oh, that ain't done. But it is. Once it sets and cools, it kind of, I don't know. It's not really hardens, but it's more stiffer. We're going away. I get you back. I check the tide. Journey for life. And I. in the mud let's pack up a life baby and call it a night cause the longer we stay here the harder the fight i said hey yeah 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 call it a start by leaving behind what's breaking our hearts i said hey
let's kiss the past goodbye. So another thing that I did wrong was I did not set my uh, pie crust out to room temperature. So as you can see, it is breaking apart. It was just in the refrigerator. And uh, normally when I make this pie, I set it out at room temperature. But granted, it's been... Y'all, it's been a minute since I've made this pie. I was making it a good bit. Usually, I make it start making it like a spring, summertime. But, uh, I ain't made it in a while. So, make sure you, uh, let your pie crust come to room temperature. Or, you know, you make your homemade pie crust. I should have just done that, but I didn't. In our hearts, I said, Hey, yeah, 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 follow the spark. Ain't nothing but a one way. Hey, yeah, 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 call it a start. By leaving behind what's breaking our hearts, I said, Hey, yeah, 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 follow the spark. Ain't nothing but a one way. since I've made this pie um my husband said it's good he had him a piece for lunch but um I did honestly I was on the telephone and I really cooked it too long you really have got to watch this pie but as you can see my crust is overcooked my husband said it was still good but I guess the sugar kind of separated Usually when I cook it, I have a golden brown crust. I wrap up my crust. And usually, I tried something different, as y'all seen, with the um, aluminum foil and beans in there. Usually, I just pop it in the oven for just a few seconds, or like a minute or two for the crust. And then I pour my pie filling in it. And then I'll let it cook and make sure you cover your crust up. And see, I did that differently this time. I actually cooked my crust and then put my pie filling in it and popped it in. And this pie has got to cook for 45 minutes. So, that's where I messed up. So, do not oops, pre-cook your crust. Just put it in there for just like, I don't know, maybe two to three minutes. And then put your pie filling in. Cover your crust, your edges with aluminum foil. And let it cook for 45 minutes and keep an eye on it. Because your pie, you're going to want it. I noticed this go around. It's supposed to be still jiggly and kind of wet. And it wasn't. So I, I know I overcooked it because I forgot to set a timer. So that was my epic fail. I was on the telephone. There's a bunch of stuff going on today. Um, but yeah. So when you cook it, just remember to uh, to do that. Otherwise, it's really, really, it's a really good pie. Really good chocolate pie. But thanks for watching, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye, y'all.